Hi everyone, it's Sunday, March 14th. I'm gonna hit the road here and head out to North Vancouver. I'm gonna do some diving today. Been hearing some reports of very, very horrid visibility. Uh, so I'm gonna check out a few hole in the wall spots I've had on my list for a while and was waiting for uh, this time of the season. Unfortunately, the algae blooms have kicked in in full force and uh, back to our traditional green, muddy water here in the lower mainland. Uh, I'm going to hit the road and uh, meet up with uh, Clayton out in uh, North Van, so it should be a fun day. You got a lot tied up inside. Just won't fight Baby, it's a grind And this your bitter life Okay, so as mentioned, today a uh, hole in the wall spot I saw this place driving by the highway It's where uh, the Seymour meets the Indian Arm uh, we're gonna try diving here. Clayton, I'm not sure if you know him or not. Uh, Clayton, AKA Aquatic Monkey. He has an awesome YouTube channel. Uh, he dives for garbage and treasure, old bottles, GoPros and phones, and tries to reunite them with their owner. If you guys haven't checked his channel out, uh, he's got a lot of great content. Most uh, treasure hunters, they leave the garbage, but he always brings the stuff he finds home and disposes of it, so he's doing great things for the environment. Uh, I'm stoked to be able to dive with him today. We've been meaning to get out for a while, but the opportunity never presented itself. Uh, so he's gonna be here shortly, and we're gonna jump in. The water looks uh, pretty good, pretty clear, compared to what the ocean is right now. It's one of the downsides of uh, this area. You really gotta watch where you're walking. There's a lot of drug use here. Looks like there might be a, a homeless encampment just, just across the train tracks. Yeah, it's just some old setting up bottles oh, that's and stuff. Fanta. Very good. Uh, I think this one was pretty cool. It's because you're moving to the island. Where is that? Just, uh, I think it's Salt Spring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. Hope we find some today. jumped in the water, but the visibility wasn't as good as it looked from the surface. We found a large bundle of aluminum piping. It was too large for us to bring to shore with the equipment we had available, but I'd imagine there would be some good value in the scrap metal. We swam down the river a bit and took a peek under the railway crossing. We were expecting to see much more at this site. But our guess is that most of what gets dropped in the river quickly gets washed out to the ocean in the fast moving water. We did find a bunch of railway spikes, which I'd assume made their way in the water during past maintenance work. That or the bridge is falling apart. I think that there are some people out there that collect this stuff. If so, let me know in the comments. So that spot was a bit of a bust. Nothing was there worth uh, diving. Wasn't too exciting, but we got a plan B in the works. I'm gonna try to go down the Seymour a little bit further and see what we can discover. I first came to this spot about seven years ago and did some cliff jumping. Parking is resident only from April to September, which makes visiting this area a challenge. With an open cell wetsuit, off season ends up being a better time to visit anyways. Careful while climbing the rocks, the wet stone and moss makes things very slippery. The ocean is more my thing, but diving between these canyon walls comes in at a close second. Clayton 
Clayton didn't waste any time and started coming up with lure after lure. The amount of water that flows down this river is insane. Within a short time from now, diving here will be much too dangerous once the snowpack melts and starts to send the fresh air down the river. One common thing I find on all these river dives without fail is stone statues of Anukshuks. This place is packed in the summertime and I hate crowds. How lucky were we to have this gem all to ourselves. There are a few things that filming never seems to do justice. One of them would be underwater caves and deep crevices. This little nook was much deeper than it appears and it just adds to the amazing geological formations Mother Nature crafted in this canyon. There were caves to explore above the surface too. aquatic monkey living up to his name. Such a small part of our free diving trip is actually spent below the water. The majority of the time we are in travel or just hanging out at the surface. It's not just the water aspect of this sport that keeps me coming back, it's the entire package. From the logistics of planning a dive, days or even months before to the unknown sites that we venture into. Free diving around the Pacific Northwest has introduced me to so many amazing people and brought me to so many breathtaking places I would have otherwise never knew existed. Some mornings I wake up and look at the weather outside and wonder what the hell I'm doing, but when you get to see sites like this, it makes it worth it 100% of the time. Not once since I've started this journey have I regretted a trip or any of the money I've spent because this stuff is priceless. Thanks again for watching everyone. As usual, like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm not sure where this channel is going to take me, but I'm excited to find out.